We're back, baby. We're back. So in the second and final season of Kevin, we see that Allison and Patty blackmail Neil into keeping his mouth shut, which doesn't work, but it doesn't matter because Kevin doesn't believe him anyway. Allison has a new plan to fake her own death and skip town. One of the things preventing her from doing this, however, is money. But I'm assuming the other reason is Kevin's hold on her, right? I mean, that's the only reason I can think of why she would also fake her own death. Slowly, this season sees the decline of about three or four relationships, but also the beginning of two, so that's good. You also took a header off Turtle Boy, and Kevin laughed till he puked, so it was a great day. Turtle Boy. Turtle Boy. <laughs> so there's a Turtle Boy reference. So in the center of Worcester, there's this statue of a boy and a turtle. Let me pull a photo up for you. It's a statue of a boy who is really, really, really into turtles. Allegedly. I'm not sure what compelled the city of Worcester to build a statue like this. I'm sure there's a whole history you can read about on Wikipedia about it. So how does one take a header off Turtle Boy? How, how does that work? Wait, hang on. Oh, okay. Aren't you guys glad you have me here to explain Turtle Boy to you? <laughs> you know, now that I think about it, Worcester does have a surprising amount of quirks, like uh, Kelly Square, Turtle Boy, Higgins Armory. Oh, wait, that got turned down. Um, Wild Willies. Nope, that got torn down too. Whatever, let's move on. Probably a Maloney's. Didn't you guys boycott that place when they said you couldn't lean over the bar and drink directly from the tap? So rude. Maloney's? Is that supposed to be Mahoney's on Park Ave? This is the quietest and most spacious diner I've ever seen in Worcester. <laughs> well, I tracked your phone location and I realized that this empty diner is the perfect spot to spend a blackout. So funny enough, there actually were a lot of citywide blackouts in Worcester. Um, I'm not sure why. Maybe they they just have sucky government. I, <laughs> I have no clue. They have a lot of weather problems. Uh, I, I remember when I lived there, I lived there for a little over six years. One time an ice storm knocked out the power for a whole week and I had to stay with a friend and it sucked. So what do you guys think of the finale and the series as a whole? I like that everybody leaves Kevin in the end, uh, including his father, his best friend, his wife, and his new girlfriend who is played by Aaron Hayes, who also plays Kevin James's wife in Kevin Can Wait. Little wink wink there. I like it. I like that we got to see him in the drama world for who he really is. And I'm glad that he didn't turn out to be physically abusive. I think that would have detracted a little from the emotional and verbal abuse, although he did come across as uh, physical a little in that last confrontation with Allison. I like that we finally get to see Kevin get his just desserts, that all his abuse and self-centeredness finally catches up with him. I really like how this show demonstrates how what we perceive ourselves to be is never really how we actually are. And it's not only healthy, but it also shows a great deal of emotional maturity to confront that and realize that about ourselves. This is the case both with, not just with Kevin, but also with Allison for sure. I'm maybe the other characters to some extent, you know, like Neil and uh, maybe Patty. I also really enjoyed Neil's arc this season. I like that once he joined the drama world, it was like he caught a glimpse of the other side. Like he started to see flaws in his life and that he could do better or be better, and that he could be better without Kevin, which ultimately leads to him leaving Kevin's side and becoming his own man and discovering what he really wants out of life instead of just living in the wake of this toxic person. All right, so in a flashback, we see that Allison entered the sitcom world when her mom was around. That tells me that her mother was also controlling and abusive like Kevin, continuing the theme of dysfunctional relationships. I'm in no way an expert, but it tells me, at least for Allison, that it comes from psychological abuse from childhood trauma. So throughout the series, Allison never speaks with Kevin about her concerns about her unhappy life, at least nothing more than just like a passing remark here and there, you know? Partly because it seems like he can't really comprehend any of it, but also it could just be because he just ignores her altogether. Also because I think she just needs to find the courage to stand up to this person who has such a hold on her. The only thing about the finale that I wasn't really crazy about was Kevin getting drunk and essentially killing himself. In the real world, when people break up, they typically still have to worry about running into each other at the supermarket. I personally think it detracts a little bit from the act of standing up to this person when they just go away, never to be seen again. Like that moment, you know, it does end the relationship and fix the problem, but in a lot of cases, that person might not just go away so easily. But I got what they were going for. The act of the confrontation is a big moment for Allison. Ultimately, I think it's a show about navigating through toxic relationships. It's also about Allison finding the strength to leave her relationship, but I think she needed to value herself more in order to find that strength, which must have been hard when there was always a, someone there belittling her and her emotions, especially when that person was someone she used to love. I probably don't have to say this, but if this is what your significant other is saying to you, Without me, you will have nothing. 
because I will fucking destroy you. Then that isn't love. And you need to get out of that relationship as fast as you can. So I'd love to know what you all thought about the finale and the series. Please let me know in the comments. I'm interested to hear your thoughts on it. I didn't really talk too much about Patty in this video. I just didn't really have that much to say about her storyline. So feel free to chew me out about that. And I'll catch you guys later. Thanks for watching. Peace.